Hi, beautiful Gemini. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Gemini, this is a reading for you for the month of November, and I'm recording it today on the 1st of November on the new moon. So it's extra in alignment, I feel. And I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up because I have my son sitting underneath me, uh, underneath this table, and he's doing stuff that makes me laugh. <laughs> so, so... I promise he could be there. It's late, not late at night, but it's it gets really, really dark here um, in the evening, like quite early in the evening. Um, long story short, he's under under the table here. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you for the month of November. I think this is going to be quite the extraordinary month, quite the changing month, the transformative month. We're going to start with an overall uh, energy here and then go deeper and deeper into that energy. And at the very end, we're going to ask your angels to come out with some extra inspiration, guidance. What do we have for Gemini, please? Gratitude. Be grateful for what, be, be grateful for all you have. Uh, usually I get this card for Pisces, so maybe you have a Pisces reference, a connection to Pisces somehow, maybe you have Pisces in your chart. Okay. I see uh, it's very much water and sitting in the seashell and having beautiful kids there. It's almost like we have the chariot in the palm of your hands. Things really moving forward, coming from a very energized place. I feel like a lot of recharge, like needing a recharge, have have already had a recharge. It's like you're hmm. It's like you're coming out of something and yet now the now the rest can begin or something like that like we're while you're in the midst of something that sort of has your all your attention all your all your energy goes into something and then now it's like now is the first time that you can sort of have like a little bit of a sigh of relief or that you figured something out so you can breathe or like being on a really good path, it doesn't necessarily mean that things slow down. They never, never seem to slow down for you, Gemini. But whatever was like a go, 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 go situation has now sort of settled. And we can now ah, like breathe a sigh of relief is what I'm feeling. And with this um, seashell, I mean, that's, it is a lot of transformation, but it's like it's asking you to really put your ear to the ground. This might be like really random, but you might get electrocuted <laughs> right now. I I know like as it get colder and drier here in Sweden, the more we get to the like colder weather, the more I get this electrical, you know, little little hits here and there, just sort of touching the car door. You know, even bumping into my son when I, I don't know, just random places is like you get more, you it's more energy and it gets more triggered, it feels like. So it's, it's like you're getting this little mini electrocutions that I feel is like, I don't feel like you're going to be electrocuted, but there's something about, okay, so look here, it's like from that ear on your left side. Like there's a major like electricity waves coming out there. So it's like if you usually would get like a little like, ah, that hurts a little bit. Um, That's a little bit of electricity there. It's like it's heightened by like 10 times and it feels like that really hurt. Like there's something going on around electricity. Um, like static electricity. That's being highlighted at a time. If that's like a if that's like a metaphor, it might be that you're you're getting more and more charged. Excuse me, feeling more energized, getting more and more charged. Maybe you've been like really exhausted, or 
or just going, going, going that, are, that you don't even feel how tired you are. And now, you know, when you, you've been working and working and then you go on vacation and that one or two weeks, you spend that vacation having a cold or getting sick because now you're sort of releasing everything that has been going on. And so now here comes the sim symptoms that you have, for whatever reason, put away. It can even be that you have done whatever you've done. It's, it's like, no, I don't have time to be, have a cold now. I'm having way too much fun or I'm way too stressed out or I'm way too worried or like whatever is going on there. Like it has taken up so much of your time or attention that there just hasn't been any room to really feel now it is like the month of November. The, like I said, the, the energies are not slowing down anytime soon and especially not in your life. But I feel like you maybe can find some release or relief every once in a while where you actually give yourself that time to just breathe a little bit more, a little bit deeper, take longer naps, take, take, um, like pause more often, things like that. Okay. Going deeper into this message. What do we have? Clean it up, clean it up now, Gemini. Don't put it off. Go clean it up. Um, <laughs> uh, blessed. Number 22. So that we have 21, 22, we speak, which speaks of an annoying process. So something is building up or something is in progress process. Um, yeah, let's see. Building blocks. So this clean it up is also my vibration card. And it's silly to say because every card is a vibration, right? But clean it up for me is when you, you clear stuff out that just doesn't matter or it's just annoying <laughs> or it's just in the way. It can be the, it can be that you're just looking through your cupboards or looking through your closet or whatever, and you clean stuff out. It can be that you're cleansing your body. It can mean that you are um, even changing belief systems or like your thought pattern. Those like thoughts that really is a little bit heavier or, or thoughts that you have that sort of push yourself down is like we're clearing those out right now. It can even be like a healing journey, a healing journey where you you cleanse, you cleanse a lot of stuff. And this uh, clean it up. Sometimes it can just really help to go through your living environment, your work environment, like wherever you you spend your day, and look through what you have around you. Do you feel like that you can relax in your environment so that you can, as you relax and release resistance, you raise you naturally raise your vibration, and or are you a little bit on edge because there's so much stuff around you, and perhaps there's even stuff around you that you don't necessarily like. So, you know, uh, it was, that was a couple of years ago now, I think that we had that, that series that came out on Netflix with, um, was she perhaps from Japan? I'm not going to swear by it, but she had this thing of like, if it lights you up, like if you are holding a sweater and it lights you up, then keep it. Even if it has holes in it, that's not the point. If it lights you up, keep it. But if it really doesn't, you have zero response, let it go. And it's like, well, that's half my closet. Well, maybe that half of your closet is actually bringing your energy down because you don't feel any excitement around it. Um, or, <laughs> I mean, obviously do this to your own. If you look at your couch, you're like, eh, nothing happens. Well, I'm going to throw that out. Um obviously use your common sense, but there's something about going through, like, just look through your home environment. Like what can, can something go there? Like, do you have to hang on to certain things or can it lighten the vibration as you clear stuff out? Take a look at that. And then we have blessed and building blocks. I just feel like I just feel like this is interesting. 
It's like you already are blessed. And I guess we could say that we are all, all are blessed just by being here, just by, by being alive and all of those <laughs> fun things. But like you are blessed. Again, if you look around, look at where you live, look at who you have around you, look at the life that you get to lead, Wh whatever hardships that's, you know, going on in your life, and they can be many and they can be really tough sometimes, but <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to talk myself into getting emotional uh, if I just continue on this train. But it's this, it's this sense of like, just look at how blessed you are. This is like a lot of, you know, the gratitude. The foundation is to feel gratitude, is to not look at what's missing, but look at what you already have. You know, most people, when they go to wish for something, they wish for something that they don't have. And people always say, well, yeah, duh. What, what's the point of wishing for it if you already have it? Well, it's really beautiful to feel like, wow, I really want this child and I already have it. I, I want this type of house that I'm living in or apartment or whatever. I want this status of my emotion or whatever it is. I just feel like, Sometimes we can wish for something that we already have to, that makes it easier for us to feel gratitude that we don't miss the point. Sometimes I feel like we, like we can miss the point. Because building blocks, like as you look at this woman, and this is obviously for both women and men, she's like looking like, where's my stuff? As I would say, <laughs> like, like, I'm building and building and I'm building and building. Where's my stuff? Like it doesn't come in and missing the point. It's like you're missing. This is really interesting because this woman, she's made up of the same building blocks. This looks like a, like a tall building of brick. And then those bricks continue, not those little squares floating around here but there's like it looks like a dress like a blurry dress that's made out of bricks please there you go do you see that it's the same pattern in her clothing as it is in the building so to me this speaks today about okay so you're whatever you're creating is an extension of who you are right and you're looking like where is my stuff uh <laughs> and the thing is Feel grateful for, for what, what you already have. You are already blessed. And as you are starting to really like feel, like sit for a moment to feel like what you have. You know, I was talking to one of my sisters the other day and she had listened to this TikTok thing or probably or whatever. Um, and it was something about like, we go, we walk around and for instance, she has four kids and two dogs and 30,000 other animals and stuff. And so there's a lot of hair. Um, and there's a lot of clothes and there's a lot of stuff, you know, and there's just always something to deal with and take care of. And instead, and so she felt really like hit by this video that it was about not walking around feeling like I have to do this and I have to do that. And I'm, oh my God, there's so much I have to do. And I'm the only one that has to do it, you know, but rather than saying, I have to do this, the thing there in the video was I get to do, I get to pick up these clothes. And why do I do that? Cause I have children that wears those clothes. I get to take care of these, this hair. Why? Because do I have dogs, beautiful dogs that fulfill you know, unconditional love every day. So I get to pick up their hair. I get to, I get to walk around here and look at all this, all these things, you know, and I understand some, some people are like, I don't care for that at all, but to just even switch your mindset that it's like, you're not a victim under things that you have to do. You're blessed because you get to do it because it means that there's life. It means that there's a family. It means that, that there's a connection. I have my youngest son at home right now. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff out right now. As I'm looking around here behind, looks 
it looks really clean here. But as I just look at here, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of things there right now that I don't have to take care of. I get to take care of that because I have a son that is fulfilling so much in my life and he's playing with stuff. So there's something about understanding that what you're made of is what you're creating. That your surrounding is an extension of what you are, of who you are. And it's not much that is missing. Like it's just this torso. Are you okay? <laughs> it's, just, it's just this torso that is like it, that it, that is waiting for those. And these blocks are swirling around. They're not even like, it's like you, they're right there to sort of fulfill the whole picture. But you're looking a little bit for where it is when it's right in front of you. So whatever that is in your life, like if you're looking for money, if you're looking for a relationship, if you're looking for health, if you're looking for whatever it is that you're looking for, it seems to be right in front of your face. And if it's not right in front of your face, just taking on this, this um, attitude of gratitude, I'm not really, I'm not really fond of that expression. <laughs> I don't, I don't actually really know why, but I think it's also coming from Abraham that says like, to feel grateful, that's really beautiful because it means that you have a lot of stuff to feel grateful about, but to feel grateful feels like you needed to almost overcome something. I'm grateful for this because I, I have worked really hard to get here or like whatever. And they are sort of, they're, I'm very picky right now with the vibration I feel, but it's what's coming through. So I sort of have to follow it, but there's something about like, instead of feeling gratitude for what you have accomplished to feel appreciation, there is a slight difference in vibration between gratitude and appreciation. As you appreciate things, just feel the difference in the vibe. As you appreciate things, it is a softer energy. It's, it's, you can appreciate something that you actually don't have. You're grateful while you can be grateful for being able to watch something that you don't have, but it, just play around with those words, play around with those emotions or feelings. Maybe it's easier to tap into the appreciation rather than the gratitude. There's something to that. Okay. And know that whatever you want is an, is a consequence is a manifestation of who you are. And you just need to sort of, con you need to step into feeling blessed. And as you start to feel blessed, as you bless your count your blessings, as you bless your countings, <laughs> as you count your blessings, things will come about, things will fall into place, it will continue to build. But it's a process, it's 22, uh, 21, 22, and it's a process. But 22 tells me, it's not fully done, we're not fully there, as that is 33, but 22 is not wishy-washy, uh, thinking, fantasy, wishy-washy. <laughs> It's um it's more than the protest and I can't remember what I'm going to say. Uh it's not 33 which is it's done it's here we did it. 22 is underway. 22 is when it is what you see here like cruising through the like getting getting from one place to another starting to see the evidence of your thoughts. Starting to see the fruits of your labor but not fully be in it just yet. Things, things probably have already started to like, okay, so that has now happened and this is now happening. And so like, you're starting to see that things slowly pick up pace here, moving in the right direction. Okay. Going deeper. What do we have for Gemini, please? For the month of November. Positive movement forward. It's so much about this. Get really clear about where you're going and sort of stick to it. Stick with it. Transformation, like wow. <laughs> My little chess chess sweater player. Oh, 
What's happening? My hair in his mouth. I was like, I, th- I just thought that he was just like opening opening his mouth really wide. There was actually hair in his. Can you sit down here? Jag är färdig om en liten stund. Vill du säga hej? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Kan du sitta ner lite? Bye bye. Okay. Little. Sorry about that. Oh, not really. That's life. Uh, positive movement forward and transformation. I think you're you're headed for really beautiful, like coming into calmer waters, beautiful waters, seeing really good things starting to come about. Like, look at this. Positive movement forward. And we have number eight, which is a really strong number. It's like the... I was not going to say that, but power of manifestation, sure. And it's like endless opportunities. As above, so below. Yeah, it's it's really, I just feel like it's really powerful. It's a golden boat with golden sail, sailing off into the sunrise or sunset with a very golden sun. Like, it just feels like you're coming into the, sort of the next, no pun intended, but next era a new era, if you will. Um, Yeah, there are really beautiful things about to happen. I see this grand whale. I see it sometimes and sometimes I don't, but today is, today, today I see (laughs) a little echo. Um, Today I see this marvelous whale that is like just swimming underneath the ocean. Like, it's like a promise of something that's sitting just underneath that's about to like show its face. Something quite grandiose is shifting for you. And, and uh, 13, divine feminine transformation. The old version of you is really falling away and stepping into this new place. I think that you, as you, you're, as you're more and more coming into feeling blessed, feeling more at home with yourself, releasing all these things, like clean it up, like clear out whatever sort of doesn't fit. And instead of looking for the things that you're trying to accomplish or trying to reach to just feel, just feel into how much everything is already working. It's working just as you said it would. It's so on the right path, positive movement forward, transformation. Like it's it's happening. It's taking place right now. And as I said that, it said 23, 23 on the clock. And 23 is the star of the lion. Like it's a really powerful, again, brave, courageous, powerful strength. A really strong uh, number and it shows up double. So 23, 23, it shows me that you're stepping into like probably the strongest and most powerful energy that you, that you've ever been in. It's really gorgeous. Okay. Going deeper still, what I, <laughs> this flipped, release 13, transformation again. Wow, there is something big going on there. Going deeper still, what do we have for Gemini, please, for the month of November? Clarity of belief. Look at that. It's just going to get clearer and clearer and better and better. And just, and number one, brand new beginning. Today's date when I'm recording this. Clarity of belief. I just see this transformation again, like, so we had the butterfly there. It's like we had transformation come out three times now. 
clarity of belief. So I see this heart, like this love heart down here. And it's you, it feels like it has been like a bit messed up or nestled in, like it's not nestled, but like entangled. Entanglement. Like there's a, a little bit of grayish, cloudy, not very clear energy or path or like feeling within yourself of who you truly are. But now it's like you have that hand over your heart and it's like you're letting the transformation lead the way rather than trying to trying to change it or control it or have like a path or like a direction of what or how something should look or how it should show up is like I think you're more and more coming into letting the transformation lead and if you do first and foremost you're coming into the heart chakra like this is the heart the green speaks about the heart and then it's like it's like we don't see what's going on over here and then we come out to like this fully manifested heart or fully manifested love in your life and I think this is mainly has to do with you because it feels like it's a very obviously everything does and everything is mainly about you but I think you're really in a very like looking at yourself period I think Aries had a had quite a lot about the same thing we can enter skaka lite så hjärtat för då skakar hela datorn um so yeah, it's just continue whatever it is that you're doing, Gemini, because it's really it's really working. And if it is a little bit tough to let go of control every once in a while, just maybe set that intention. Like I'm gonna let that transformation lead, because it's obviously putting you in a better spot or like in a really good. You're on your like a really good path here. One more, no, okay. We're gonna let the angels speak what do we have for gemini for the month of november please anything uplifting inspirational any additional messages do they need to hear within the next few weeks and remain positive so if there's been like an actual question on your mind if you really have like an a clear question and it's a question that you've been having with you for some time like you like you there's a question that's just with you and you don't know the answer to it that answer will come within the next few weeks But other than that, I just feel like generally and because of the message, I just feel like it's it's right in alignment with this is the month of November. It's not, I'm usually saying it's usually six weeks into the future. I just feel like really November is the month. There's a lot that's going to shift and change in the month of November for you. And this is even within the next few weeks. So maybe already, depending on when you listen to this, obviously, but mid-november i just feel like there's a lot of shifts and changes and transformation obviously and within the next few weeks you're going to see that you're going to see that really truly start to shift for you and remain positive it's just asking you to just try to try to hold this clear like where you're going positive movement forward remain positive instead of asking for like where is it like it's already here you are so blessed appreciate your blessings however small they are some validation on that the lights just started to flicker a little bit okay that's what i have for you beautiful gemini for the month of november 
Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me a lot. And I'm going for 30,000. I'm around 27,000 at the moment. And yeah, let's push it up there a little bit. Would be really fun. Please also like the video if you actually like it. Take care, guys.